Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of the Grandmaster Warden of Nothing. Now, I'm a little bit behind with some of these, as some of you know, I was on holiday and haven't been well, but now I've done five out of the six of them, I've solo five out of the six of the GMs. I actually forgot to record my Insight Terminus, but if you're interested in watching it, you can jump over to the stream channel and it is on my, my stream. I streamed this and uh, Insight Terminus back to back and got them both first time. So strategies work pretty well. All all fragments and aspects I'm using are in the video, as you can see. Uh, I've went with New Purpose Pulse Rifle. I've went with the Callus Mini Tool uh, for my uh, overload weapon. And we went with Leviathan's Breath for Unstoppable. Now, this wasn't too difficult, right? It took me... I got it first time on stream. But I'd done it maybe the night before. I'd done it two or three times. And each time got to the boss at roughly the same time as I'm doing it in this video. I just had to work out the right way to do the boss. So, kind of what we're going for here is uh, be safe. I mean, it's, it's quite a quick run. It's about half hour GM. It's quite a quick GM. We're going for being safe, but being strategic at the same time. So, as you can see here, I've decided not to attack all the ads that are on the gangway. And I've gone straight up here for the overload. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go behind this box you see here, there he comes I'm going to put my rift down which gives me uh, my protection it's, I've got, uh, I have got healing on, I have got uh, classy restoration and there we go, that's him finishable so I can now dip, I can get out of here, get out of dodge get over here and take this last guy out uh, and there we go that's, that's the first section done there. Now this GM, as most of you will be aware, has all three champions in it. We have Overload, Barrier, and Unstoppable. Now, there's only, I think, three Overloads that you have to that you have to tackle. There's actually four, but there's only three you've got to tackle. And there's a handful of Unstoppables. There's quite a few Barriers. Barriers are kind of the main, the main champion in here, I think. Uh, so, the Pulse Rifle that I'm using has adaptive munitions, which works really well against barrier champions. Uh, hang, I think with this pulse rifle, it's the one from Duality, it's the, the raid pulse rifle, the dungeon pulse rifle. Uh, three bursts, because even against champions, it increases its damage against the shield with every burst, that's kind of what adaptive munitions does. So, that's why I went with that. Now, in this whole GM, there's a couple of, maybe the parts that people will be you know, really focused on will be uh, the part where you've got a thing in the mines, where you've got to capture the mines. That is actually really easy from what I remember it being. Much easier now. Uh, the the mini boss, the Minotaur, the Minotaur mini boss, again, really, really easy. Uh, and the boss, you'll see the way we're going to do the boss. Again, really easy. As you can see here, uh, I'm, I'm creating those explosions off my of stunning champions, uh, I always forget the name I have, the Revitalizing Blast, there we go, never forgot it for too long this time, uh, so it, I haven't went with the the multiple explosion build that we've been seeing, I think Ease will put a video up, no I haven't bothered going, going with that because I wanted classy restoration, now even though you're putting down your well, the classy restoration heals you faster than your, your rift, sorry, it heals you faster than the rift, so so I've decided to just stick with it. And I don't really feel like abilities were, you know, I felt like my weapons more than anything else than going high end with a build, like real kind of in depth with a build. I felt the weapons themselves would do the job. Now, we're obviously using in our exotic slot, we're using Starfire Protocol. The double grenades, if I can ever hit a grenade, I'm normally pretty good at hitting grenades. Uh, that is about as much additional as you're going to need here. And you see, you, see, you could see there how much uh, additional damage you'll see again here. Adaptive munitions does against shields. That second burst from the pulse rifle almost killed, almost broke the shield. So if you can get a pulse with adaptive munitions on it, it's really good for barriers. So that in this, so so far we've had a couple of champions. It literally is just clear what's in front of you from a safe distance. This next section is going to be the same. Now I would advise you to take these two ads down on the left because they can, they will 
I mean, there's been times I've, I've almost been killed by them just because they've, they're taking pot shots at me uh, as I'm running past. And then what will happen mo sometimes, probably about 50% of the time actually, is you'll get to here, you'll kill this goblin, and then just in front, just in front of here on this platform down to the left, it's a bunch of ads, it's an unstoppable. If all the ads are gone, which we're going to clear them with these explosive barrels, the unstoppable will push forward, so, so you can actually take them from up here. So we're just going to stop them, and then I'm going to get a grenade on them. I'm going to throw my melee, and what my melee done, I'll just push back because he will fire at me. What my melee does is, it, as you can see on the left, it procs radiance. So I'll just stop him again. I don't have to... I don't have to... Use another heavy. Now the pulse rifle doesn't do a, a massive amount of damage. It really, it's just for overloads, right? It doesn't do a massive amount of damage from range, but you'll see at the boss. I was very surprised at how how easily it stopped the uns the overload at the boss. Great grenade there. Chained that uh, chained that damage to to uh, to all the ads. I try and get rid of these four. And then it just leaves the barrier at the back. And between Leviathan's Breath and Grenades, we can we can take him really easily. If you were chaining the explosions, uh, then once you stopped him in Leviathan's Breath and broke his shield, the first grenade would probably kill him. So you can see there how much damage Leviathan's Breath does on a void. Uh, it's a void weapon. You can see how much it does uh, on a... I mean, it's a solar burn. I've got a brick of heavy there, so I don't mind using another Leviathan's Breath. Make sure when you're using Leviathan's Breath that you fully draw the bow. Because if you don't, you'll notice you're not doing as much damage as you expect. And, it, and the draw time is still considerably longer than your average bow, obviously, because it's a heavy bow. So this is the first real area where there's any sort of tactic, right? The rest is just clear from range, although... Although the tactic is clear from range here, but... So what I try to do is try to not miss too many grenades. So we'll just stick that, clear the, the snipers with the grenades. And then, you, obviously you've got a Hydra up top. I don't take the chance with the Hydra, so we'll just break this sniper. We'll put the sniper in his cocoon, and then he won't go back into it until we can kill him. Sometimes there's another ad just around the corner here, but I think he's gone. I jump up here on this box and it allows me to take the Hydra really easily. Even even once I do damage to the Hydra and the Hydra looks at me, I'm too far away for it, for, for it to engage. So, you know, it's looking at me, but like I say, I'm too far away for it to engage. So, a couple more shots. Get another crit here. And then I should be able to finish it off with the Pulse Rifle. What happens is when you go up to the top of the stairs, that's when you get the rest of the ads. Now you're going to get two barriers, you're going to get a bunch of elites, and you're going to get waves of ads, just a couple that are going to push you. I like to take this guy up here because I'm going to go for the champion over on the left side first. I don't want any additional ads shooting at me when I'm trying to take a champion. So once he's down, what I will do is I'll push up here and go behind this wall here and put my rift down and then we will attack this ad, this this champion on the left. Try and get a grenade, and then break the shield. Get get the 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 explosion, and you can see there. Try and get another one. I have to break him again, and that should be all she wrote. That's the first champion, right? Now you will have ads pushing you from this side. Now remember, Starfire Protocol. Obviously, it gives you two two uh, fusion needs. But the other great thing it does is it's uh, when you get a kill with the fusion need, it gives you your 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 uh, class ability back. So you can see there's a bunch of ads there. I need to get my rift down and break them. I'm going to try and break them and then get my rift down. And then what I'm going to do is just keep him broke. There, are, there will be ads just, just to the left. You see that I'm just kind of teasing him a little bit. Sometimes, I've said this before in videos, so what I'm going to do is throw my grenade. Sometimes, what happens is, just keep him broke. Don't want him to... See, I could put my rift down, but he's he's so low. 
that I want him dead first. And we'll just burn him. Sometimes the the revitalizing blast, like I've said, I've said this in videos before. I didn't realize there was another ad there. Uh, sometimes the revitalizing blast actually procs before the shield's down. And that's what happened with that champion there. It tells you you're getting numbers, but from my experience, it doesn't actually do anything. Just, that gives it. You see there, I got that, I threw my grenade. Throw another one, try and clear some of the ads over there. Uh, I threw my grenade and it gave, because I got the kill, I, I immediately got my, uh, my rift back. Which, you know, that's the kind of thing I'm going for. We're especially at the boss, we'll be doing that a lot. So... Now what we're doing is we're just going to clear some ads until until we we engage the boss. Now I try I always try to make sure I've got a, a reasonable bit of heavy. I don't go burning heavy, which is why I'm not going after the minotaurs because they'll void. It is my experience that if you take one of the minotaurs, it kind of helps get the boss out quicker. But I I I don't really want to take that chance. Taking the goblins is normally enough. So there we go. I'm going to put my rift down. And we're going to try and stun him as soon as he gets here. And luckily, that always happens to me. It always happens. Luckily, the melee got through. I've still got my rift should I need it. My will. And I probably will use the will. The problem with the warlock, especially here, is... So you can see I just timed it just nice. Now, I'll, I'll say what the problem with the Warlock is in a minute. You see here, what you're doing, what we're doing really is getting damaging the the Minotaur with empowering with any... And it doesn't matter what ad you damage. If you're in the well, that is the way to, to utilize the grenades. I hope I have that. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, the way to utilize the well with the grenades is to hit fire at the, whatever, if you're going up against a boss, put your well down, throw your grenades and then start hip firing because you'll be able to monitor your, uh, you'll be able to monitor how much of your, your, uh, grenade you're getting back. So he, he's disappeared. We actually want him to come to us, but, uh. Like I said, I, d I don't normally like using too much heavy, <laughs> but uh, we used a little bit there. Uh, luckily, I had a couple of bricks over here. So, the way to use, as I say, fusion grenades, throw, throw, hip fire, hip fire, hip fire, throw, hip fire, hip fire, hip fire, throw, and just keep doing that. He's really difficult because he teleports a lot. He actually teleported during that fight faster than I thought he would. But no harm, no foul. Uh, we got him done with, with, you know, next to no kind of stress. This next area, it, it literally is. The, the, the ads you've really got to worry about is the two unstoppables. And you can take them from a considerable bit of range. Uh, there'll be other ads you'll see here. There's a couple of, a couple of signs. It's actually about... In this little area, but six scions, two here, two on the bridges, and then two at the end. A whole bunch of elite uh, and, and and normal red bar legionaries. Nothing really too stressful. Now, exploding these two barrels will do massive damage to all the ads around. And you see here, it's just like you're just finishing them off. Except for this dude. Watch out, and I. I Suppose maybe I don't have to say it, but I should. Whenever you're doing any kind of strike or any activity with a cabal, and there's a burn on especially, it would normally be solar, uh, you just watch out for their wrist-loaded uh, their wrist-loaded grenade launcher malarkeys. So you see there, I don't have, I fire one just with, with the two grenades uh, and the melee that was that was all that was needed. There's there's the two scions. There's one there. There's one further back. There's a couple of ads up at the top of the stairs on the right. There's still ads over over here. I'm hoping I'll do some damage to some. You see there, do some damage to some of the other ads with just stunning. 
that's another ploy. It's when you stun champions that have adds around them, you know you're going to change some of that damage. So we'll hit him with another one, and that should be that should leave him finishable. Yep. Now, at some point, this is the thing about this champion. He kind of hides, he kind of hides. And then when he realises he can't hide anymore, he'll push you. So I just explored that barrel and that took the other Scion out. Here comes this champion. He is finishable. Uh, we got him finishable with, with the damage that we've done. Now it's just clearing up the red bars and then probably the area that most people uh, will think, oh man, this is the area I need to... I need to really figure out which is the main section. You will not believe how easy the main section is. It is super easy. And I'll, I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible. And, man, it really is. I think it might even be easier than I remember. So, let's talk over the logistics of the main area. There are a bunch of enemies... Duh. But when you first go in, there's going to be five champions. Yeah, five champions. There's going to be three barriers. An overload and an unstoppable. Let's hope there's not too many of those wayward grenades. Luckily, the second explosion done some damage to them. I'm, the reason why I'm killing these is because I've got a brick of heavy here that I want. So you've got two, three barriers, two Vex, one Cabal. You've got an Unstoppable, which is obviously Cabal, and an Overload, which is obviously Vex. The first thing we're going to do is go and explode all the mines, and that allows us to move around the area unhindered. The second reason we're going to do that, you'll see here I'm not going to engage any enemies, we're just going to go for all the mines. The second reason we're going to do that is that gives the adds a little bit of time to sort each other out. Less for me to do. So, by the time we actually engage any of the enemies, I mean, most of the normal enemies are going to be dead. It'll just leave us the champions. Now, I've said this in a previous video. Uh, what we're going to have to do, what you, what you should be doing when there's two sets of champions uh, from, and they're from different races, Vex, Cabal being the case here, uh... See here, they're not bothering with me because they're so busy bothering with each other. Uh, what we're going to have to do is we can't take one race. So we're going to have to kind of tie it up. So here we're going to go after this. We're going to go after the Colossus first. Just break its shield. Once the Colossus is, is... I've done damage to the Colossus. Now the only kind of ad I really need to worry about is that Sniper. But now because I've broke... Broke the champion. Now, that was a rookie mistake. We'll take, we'll take this uh, sniper. That was a rookie mistake. Is not reloading. So, uh, just a rookie mistake there. So, this overload, he started to come. It was, it was really unfortunate. It's, it hasn't happened in all the runs I'd done. But, uh, I really didn't want to be engaging him just yet, so I th can't remember if I just let him go or whether I actually kill him here. I think he goes back. I, I think I think what I do is I use the explosions from each of these guys, which is a great thing. Again, not reloading because I wasn't expecting to deal with two separate champions at the same time. So I'm gonna we're gonna go after the overload as much as possible. Uh, Normally this won't happen. Normally the overload will stay involved with, with the, uh, with the 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 unstoppable. So I'm just backing away. He's finishable. Normally he won't come after you like that ever. It's because for some reason he went up after this barrier. Now we need to take a cabal. Normally what happens is the Overload and the Unstoppable are fighting, and the two barriers are fighting. That's what happens nearly all the time. But, best laid plans. I mean, if Push had came to shove, if it had really got bad, I have I have, I have, have a well. I could, I could have put the well down, but I'm trying to save the well for a certain part. You see here, Champion should be very close to being stoppable. I'll stop him. Now what's happened is it's kind of switched, right? 
uh, the, all, the, the, the unstoppable is now fighting the other two barriers, whereas normally it's the unstoppable fighting the overload. So what we'll do is we're going to leave them fighting. The oh, unstoppable hasn't seen me. So now what I'm doing is chaining explosions between these barriers. Now the unstoppable is actually helping us by burning them as well. So you can see, just doing, just chaining. I mean, I ha all I'm using is pulse rifle. You know, and these explosions are hurting me, you know. Really, really digging in now. I'll put a grenade. That's one gone. Now I'll just break his shield and that should be him just about ready to go. The melee, keep the burn on him. Now we've got the unstoppable. Now what I'm going to do is he's he's going to what I want. I'm just putting a little bit on him because I'm going to see if I if, if I can stop him without actually needing to use a heavy. Right. Oh, there's some heavy there. So now I can use the heavy. So I'm going to push to where I actually want to go. Break this uh, exploding barrel. Now I'll stop him if I need to here. Now once you've done that, see there he's dead. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab the Scorch Cannon and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Scorch Cannon to clear these ads. So I'm going to put a shot down at the front of this door and I'm just going to hold. Fire and hold. And that charges the shot. So I've let it go. Now, and as you can see, it took all the goblins that were coming out of that door. And now my job is you see, A is already up. The time is 52, 51. I do not need to get onto that. Onto the the plate until until there's like a couple of seconds left. As long as you get on it before the timer runs out, it will stop the timer. So I'm using, I'm trying to save ammo. I'm using the scorch cannon. Just put my melee on and the grenade. And there we go. So I've still got 20 odd seconds. I'm now going to use, I'm not bothered if I kill this unstoppable totally. I would like to, but I can, I can deal damage to him from on the plate. So we'll just put a couple of heavy into him, like so. I'll stop him again, it's 10 seconds, he's coming back out. I'll stop him again, and then one more, he's gone. Now as I've gone, you can see there's still four seconds left on, on, the, on, on the timer. No harm, no foul, no need to panic. As long as there's time left, when you get onto the plate, it, the timer stops. So now B and A are up, or B and C, B and C are up. So I'll take this last ad here. Now, we're going to capture B. Now, I used to go over to C first. There might be another ad coming here. There is. I'm going to put down my rift. Hopefully, when he drops down, I'll have my grenade. I'll just do the grenade. I used to go to C first, but I want to give the Minotaur the, um, the most amount of time to get off that plate so I don't have to deal with this Minotaur. So once I capture that, I'm then going to come over here. Now I'm going to get my melee, it kind of messes with him and then bang. Rift down. Now, the, now the, the Minotaur's coming. I'll just put that there. Takes out those guys. I actually don't need to fight him. If I don't want to, I don't have to fight him. But I think I end up killing them. And then the overloads here. Didn't have to fight him either. Now, the reason I didn't have to fight that overload, you don't need to kill that overload to get platinum. I don't know why. I don't know why. But you don't. Alright? So, what I do next... So that's the plates. I, I take I take the uh, B first, and then I go to A, then C. If that's right. Or is it A, B, and C? can't remember. I take middle plate, and then the one to the right of us, and then the one with the Vex on last. To give the Vex chance to run away. Now, again, as this is the only, you know, run I can do of this, uh, because of Conqueror, I've missed so much of this season through. And when I say season, I mean the GM season. Just from being ill, and then being on holiday. I mean, this, this has been, this is ridiculous. It's the longest I think I've ever been had anything like this, so I'm wondering if it's a chest infection or the coronavirus. So I need, I need to maybe get tested. Uh, what I'm doing now is just kind of what I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting about the boss. I'm just whittling away any of the enemies that can cause me any hassle. Sometimes there's an elite over on the left as well, sticking with grenades. 
I don't want to use too much heavy. But heavy isn't requisite for the boss fight, the way we're going to do it. So I want to get rid of him. I know I've got a brick. I've seen a brick drop. I've got another grenade. Let's just stick that on him. Get that double damage. And then that that's it. So that's what I do. I take care of the other ads from safety. I don't I don't give the boss a target to shoot here. Uh really, really simple. It's really easy now to do to do do this section. And as you can see, I knew I had a brick, but Jesus. I didn't realise. In fact I could open a shop and start selling this stuff. Three bricks? Some are we bungee. Right. Next little bit of strategy. Sometimes you get to the bottom of here and there's no champions. A fix for it, and just something I would say is good, good a good habit to get into. Land on every platform. It doesn't matter how long you stay on it. Right? Land on every platform. I kind of leave it a second or two. When you see this diamond, perfect. When you see that place marker there, Second thing, activate the chest and then get off of there. What I'll actually do, I'd never heard this. Uh, it gave me a line of audio I'd never heard, but the the drifter's like, oh, look, nice move, Slick. You're not the first one they've tried to catch with that. I'd never seen that, because I normally get to go inside and just want down quickly. So, boss section. Uh, there are going to be four champions, an overload, an unstoppable, and two barriers, Vex and Cabal. We're going to take the Overload and the, un the, the Unstoppable. The way I, the, I would have took... It's going to be the opposite of the way I would have done the room uh, the, the, when we first went into the mines room. Now, I couldn't actually believe how easy that the Maida stopped the Overload from up here. Now, I am on console. I'm not using any jiggery pokery it's not like oh look mouse and keyboard on console you know i'm not doing any of that this is just basic so smg is like is like doing it right now i i, I don't think yeah i was gonna say why am why am i taking him i've realized i shouldn't be taking him we need him up we need the Vex up at the end, and unfortunately, no, he's dead. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to save the Unstoppable. You want to leave for this strategy? You're not getting that there, are you? Oh, he is. Sorry, I was <laughs> surprised that that grenade even didn't done any damage. The idea is the spot we're gonna go to, right? It helps if you leave up. Uh, that Vex Goblin. Because the Vex Goblin is is the champion, out of all of these, that does the least amount of damage to, so it allows you to get in position. So, because I was doing this on stream, and this was my very first kind of attempt at doing, you know, uh, of, of, of this evening of doing it, because I had done it a couple of times on stream before, but the place I wanted to go, I couldn't get, I couldn't get in there, which was up here. Right, so you jump on this little bit here, and then you jump up here, right? Now, all the times I tried to do it the night before, I couldn't get up here. I jumped over the edge, and I couldn't make it onto that for some reason. From up here, you can damage the boss and take minimal damage, right? But unfortunately, that unstoppable uh, didn't want to play ball, so I had to go down. Now, what I'd done was I stayed up here, which worked a treat. I used my, I used my rift, because he can't do anything to me while I'm here, and he's not going to push me. There we go. So I managed, I got up here, so it may actually be a better ploy to do it with the unstoppable, but I normally do it, I've done this since, in a team, may I add, uh, two man, I took someone through this, and they came up here and I took the Vex out and then got up here. So, what's going to happen now is while you're up here, I'm just going to put the well down. 
And I'm going to try and do a little bit of damage to the boss. While you're up here, what you're doing is the boss is going to keep coming over to you. Don't worry about the boss going anywhere. Right? The boss will keep coming back to you. But the well, now, I haven't said this all the way through the video, but I die at the end of this. Boss dies as well, so it is a completion, but I died because of that right in front of me. When you're putting your rift, your well down, make sure that the well is not impairing your view. Because what will happen is, and it happened to me, you'll throw a grenade, it will hit that sword, double explode and kill you. Which is what happened with all the solar I couldn't, I thought I'd thrown it past. And so make sure when you're putting your, your well down, I'm even laughing about it now. When you're putting your well down, make sure you back away so that the sword is at the back. And the, you know, you're, you're back in front of the sword. Now, there will be ads that will come over. And they will shoot up. And as you can see, they can't really get a good hit on you. But, I mean, they will get some hits on you. Right? So, the boss, the boss will keep coming over because he knows you're up here, right? The great thing about Leviathan's Breath for a lot of different ads is... Uh, the great thing about Leviathan's Breath is it stuns them the second, the second explosion because it works kind of like the fusion grenade, right? You hit, get a big down, and then you get a secondary explosion. So I'm, I'm, I'm wanting my well back, my rift. And you see with the explosions, I got my rift back. The boss is there. Now, you, you will get this joining allies every now and again for no reason. If you do, just move forward a little bit. You don't have to do anything fancy, just move forward a little bit. And you can see Leviathan's breath just stuns the boss, but keeps him, in, keeps him in place. He just stops looking at you for a second. It just keeps him there. And that's going to be it. We're going to keep doing that. Every time I want a whale, a rift, I'll see ads and not do that. Uh... And when I, because I've got, I think I've got 100 resilience, I've got 90 recovery, 90 discipline, I'll get my, I'll get my abilities back fairly quickly. Pop the rift, I've got restoration, I've got all the good stuff, and then I, I get a grenade kill, or a couple of grenade kills as it looked there, and now I've got my rift back, and there's the boss back. He will always come over to you. So just make sure, as you've seen there, it can be a problem sometimes. Make sure you're not too close to the edge when you're firing at him because it will hit him and not it will hit the edge and not the boss it doesn't matter how far away he goes he'll always come back now I didn't notice this if this is the run I'm thinking of because as I say I was here a few times uh, I think he was right underneath me. So you see I've got joining allies. Just move forward. Move to the left. Just move a little bit. Yeah, he was right underneath me. I didn't notice. So we'll just put the grenade and then get the melee on him. And we're just... We're just I'm literally just waiting for my, my whale at this point. You know, I'll get, I'll get grenades back. He's not got a lot left in comparison. And when I get my whale, you see there, it really... If I'd have had a better heavy, there wasn't all three champions in here. Uh, if I'd had a better, better heavy, he'd have been dead by now. But, you are very safe up here. I chose to go up here because there are two other spots. And the thing about the two other spots is... One of them you can shoot from, but you can't really throw grenades. And the other one, I, I just don't like the look of it. So, I chose to go up here. We'll just throw that down there. Hopefully get something off it. Which we didn't. I was hoping to get my, my rift back. And now, as I say, we've almost got my, my, my well. Once we get the well, as soon as the boss comes over, we're going to do the, the, the grenade malarkey. There's a the boss coming back over. I'm going to stick him with a grenade. Now, luckily, the grenade does that much damage... That it still hit me even though it was up there. The grenades are crazy. And then, as I've said, I'm going to get my well here. What I would suggest is pop the well as far back as you can go. I pop it here so that 
the sword is in almost in front of me. Right? So now what I'm doing is just... You see where I'm firing, I'm getting grenade energy back. Just stay forward, be mindful. And I haven't watched this back, so I don't actually know what kills me, but... I'm pretty sure what kills me is I stick a, a grenade to the... The... See, yeah, I'm too close to that sword. And there's the, there's the grenade that kills me. I'd kill him, and then I killed myself with the grenade, because I just slightly moved, and the sword was in front of me. So there we go, guys. Solo ward or nothing. Pretty, pretty straightforward, actually. No, no heroics needed. Just be careful, watch your ammo, and don't stick the sword in the middle of your well. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully, I'll recover soon and we can get more uploads out. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.